What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Friday Fives. So today, I've got something for those people that like to be alone, but maybe need a little bit more help in enjoying it a little bit better. If you live alone, if you don't have a partner, if you don't have that many friends, but you enjoy your quiet time, your me time, then this video is for you. I've got five tips that can help you enjoy being alone even more than you already do. Before we begin, what I want to talk about though is really important. I think we need to decipher the difference between being alone and being lonely. So before you take any of these tips to heart and start applying any of these tips to your life, let's figure out if you are lonely or alone. So first up, with being alone, that type of person usually has friends, has family, but they actually just enjoy time by themselves. A lot of times, a person that likes to be alone feels recharged and re-energized when they get that time by themselves. Most people that are alone or like to be al alone usually crave it. I'll give you an example. If you're out with friends, you have a great time, right? You enjoy the outing, but the best part of that night is when you get home, right? Right? <laughs> if that is you, then you're alone. Loneliness is something totally different. It's a totally different concept than being alone. Somebody that is lonely usually has quite a few people around them. They usually have a really big circle of friends. They have a lot of family. They may even be in a relationship, but part of them just feels disconnected. They're not fed when they're around these people or in these social settings. A lot of times somebody that's lonely will leave a gathering or leave an event, get home and feel sad. Then they would feel like they need more company to get out of this. That is the difference between loneliness and being alone. Loneliness is somebody that has all of that action around them and still is not fulfilled, still is not satisfied. Someone that is alone usually enjoys that me time and can find solace and peace with just being with themselves. If you figured out that you are alone, now let's get into the tip. Tip number one, routine. This has worked, and again, just like any of the other videos that I've had, all of these things are things that I have done that have helped me. I live a alone life. I don't have a partner, I do have family, I do have friends, but they are not a constant part of my life. I do see them, but in spurts. They're not usually seen on a daily basis. 90% of my time is spent with just me and my dogs in my home doing the things that I love to do. And one of the things that I found really helpful was routine, setting a routine routine, having a plan. A lot of times people may look at it and think, oh, that's boring. You just get up, work out, walk, drink your coffee and journal. And but it's something about that steadiness of that routine that I just enjoy. And that just may be a me thing, but it's something that you can definitely try if you want to enjoy being alone a little bit more. Try not to leave it up to surprise. Try to have something steady to do every day that you can look forward to. So that's going to be my tip number one, creating a routine. Tip two, it is creating a safe, space. Creating a space that is almost like your sanctuary. A place that is protective, spiritual. It is all of the things that you need to feel whole and to feel peace. Whatever that looks like for you. For me, it is decor. I love nice things. I love things to look put together. As you see, I have, you know, just like little stuff like that. Plants, um, art on the wall, different types of silverware and plates and bowls and coffee table books. Those kind of things excite me. They make me happy and they make me feel peace and they bring joy. I know that Marie Kondo thing, if it brings joy, keep it around. But, and I try to fill my home with as many of those things as I can because when I'm here, which I'm here most of the my, uh, most of my time, 90% of my time is spent here, it has to have the right energy. My number two tip is going to be to create that safe space for you, that you, that protects you, that makes you feel that joy every single day. Number three. So number three is gonna sound very cliche, um, but take yourself out, right? <laughs> take yourself out. Do not wait for others to do things that you like to do. If you like to go to the movies, go to the movies. Don't wait on your friends and your family to come around to do that. If you like to go have a drink at the bar, 
go have a drink at the bar. If you like to shop on Saturday morning, go do that. A lot of times I think we have these things that we truly enjoy, but we may be a little apprehensive on doing it because we're doing it alone. Like going out to eat or like going to the movie theater, going to have breakfast by yourself. But if you enjoy that vibe and that makes you feel good, you don't have to wait on anybody to experience those things. You can do it yourself. I'll give you an example for me. I absolutely love shopping Saturday morning, early in the morning with my coffee. Usually I like a Target of Marshalls or Home Goods, one of those kind of places. I absolutely love it. I do like to do it with people. I think I like it because it's something that I used to do with my mother as a child. So now that to me is like a safe space. But when I tell you I do it every weekend, I try to do it every weekend and it just makes me, I just love life. I love living and not because I'm doing the shopping, but because I'm doing things Things that I like to do and I don't have to wait on anybody to do it. Get comfortable with dating yourself. Get comfortable with being with yourself because ultimately if you like to be alone, if you are a person that is alone, more than likely you already like it. So these tips are going to help you enhance that. It may be a little bad because you may not want to be around anybody ever again <laughs> after you add these tips to your life. I can promise you by doing something like that, taking yourself out, doing things that you genuinely like like to do alone without the assistance of other people, you will enjoy life much more. Something else with this that I did want to touch on is that if it's something that you like to do, right? Like do things that you like to do. That's one of the beauties of being alone is that you don't have to ask anybody's permission. You don't have to do things because they want to do it. Let's use for an example, your partner loves amusement parks, right? Like great Six Flags Great America. You're personally not into Six Flags Great America, but you go because he likes it. So am I saying go to Six Flags alone? And No, go do what you want to do. What if you want to walk around Home Depot, go walk around Home Depot. But that's the point is that you're in charge. You get to do whatever you want to do. So make it fun. Make it you. Whatever that looks like. If you like antique shopping, go to an antique store. You know what I mean? One of the best benefits of being alone is having that freedom to make those decisions for yourself, change your mind if you don't want to do it, do it if you do want to do it. But number three is going to be to take yourself out, be your own. Tip number four is something that I've struggled with for years and it is basically stop comparing yourself to others. That is like the surefire way to kill any mood that you have, even if you are alone and you love it. If you go to looking at other people that are in your same scenario, your same situation, and you see them doing things that you're not doing, you may start to question yourself, which is going to bring on those negative feelings, that negative energy. So what I have to do is I have to stop comparing myself. And basically what that means is Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. Like I can't look at those things and compare myself to what someone else is doing. I'll give you an example. I think about the weekly vlogs that I make. I make weekly vlogs every Sunday. Well, I make them throughout the week and post them every Sunday. Um, but there are a ton of people out there who kind of live the life that I live. In, in the sense of being alone. Like they don't have a lot of other people in their life. It's really just them kind of vlogging themselves and, you know, going through their day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week life. I generally don't watch that type of content only because I don't like to put my mind in that zone of, oh, well, they're doing that. Maybe I should do that. And I'll be honest with you. I went through it last week. I went through it filming my vlogs and I didn't want to film because it was like my boring life. All I'm doing is making coffee and buying pack and buying stuff from Amazon. And, and I started to bring that negative energy into my life. And I didn't like that. I didn't like the fact that I was comparing my life, which is great, right? It's not boring to me. It may be boring to somebody who's going out every night. It may be boring to somebody who has a house full of people every day. But for me, it's exciting as I all can be. And I should celebrate that. And I should want to celebrate that. But, but comparing yourself to others can be the thief of all joy. Is that the saying? The thief of all joy? 
you know, it's amount. Now, I'm not going to say stop because it, again, it's it's a struggle in this society that we live in. We le live in a comparative world. Like that's what we do. We compare ourselves. We have standards that everybody should be at at a certain age and a, a certain tax bracket and a house and a kid and a picket fence. Like we have that. And unfortunately, it is something hard to break, especially if that's been a part of your upbringing for so long. But if you can do it, you will definitely enjoy your life much better if you can stop comparing yourself to other people. All right, and if you made it this far, you are at tip number five, baby. Thank you so much. Go ahead and give me a like if you are here. Leave me a comment and tell me which one is your best, your favorite tip so far. Tip number five is going to be find a creative outlet. Or in my case, find several creative outlets. That is one of the things that I love about being alone is that I can choose to do or not to do whatever I want. If I want to learn how to make a throw pillow, I'm going to go buy a sewing machine and learn how to make a throw pillow. Am I going to use that sewing machine ever again? Probably not, but I did it because I want to do it. Do I want to journal every morning? Yes, because I can. Do I want to wake up one Saturday morning and paint? Yes. Do I want to hang my art in my house? Yes. Without the opinions of anybody else, finding a creative outlet will open up a sense of joy for you like no other. And the beauty of it is, is that when you're alone or when you have the opportunity to be in a space like we are, which is very privileged, right? Like a lot of people are burdened with the other responsibilities and people and situations that they have in their life. A lot of people would like to be able to do exactly what they want to do when they want to do it. So don't take it for granted. It is a privilege to be in this space. But if you are lucky enough to be in this space, get you a creative outlet. I love making videos. I love taking pictures. I love entertainment. I love cooking. I love sewing. I love making shirts with my Cricut machine. Like, <laughs> like really, you can really do anything that you want to do. And I think having a creative outlet really opens up that inner peace, that inner joy. And it just, it takes you to a different level of enjoyment when you are being creative. So that's my tip number five for you guys is to have a creative outlet, have several creative outlets because you can. And if you want to do it one day and not the next, then don't do it. That is it. That's my top five tips for you for today. I do just want to close this video out by saying thank you so much. I appreciate everybody who is clicking on this video and watching it. Um, go ahead and watch another one. I will link them here. You, If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. It does help the channel out. Also, turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I post another video. Leave me some comments about some stuff that you guys do to help you enjoy being alone and things that um, make your life more enjoyable. I would like to hear that. And then also let me know which ones you like or which ones you want to try try or which ones you're going to start to implement into your life. Again, I'm Ron Daniel. I do make these kind of self-help motivational videos, top five videos, but I also make weekly vlogs, reviews, fun stuff. I have a pretty cool channel. Go ahead and check out some other videos there as well. But again, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Bye.